Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide, and I'm here with Madison Hausberg from Siesta Key. Yeah. We're super excited for the show to be coming back next Tuesday on MTV. That's right, next Tuesday. Yeah. I have a lot of hard-hitting questions for you, Madison. Oh, great. I just re-watched all of the episodes, got reacquainted with all of the characters. So many crazy things. You. <laughs> No, I, I really think that you are the most normal, down-to-earth character out of any of them. Yeah, well, normal isn't a word that's <laughs> often used in CSD. It's like everyone has something crazy. Yeah, exactly. Them. So you're a unicorn. You know? <laughs> exactly. But from the first episode until now, what do you think has really changed about you as a person? Oh, my gosh. First episode, season one? Yeah. A lot. A lot. I think just... Being like done with college and being back in the real world and like trying to, you know, you're not in school anymore. You have to, you have to grow up mm -hmm. and you go through at the same time of trying to do that. You're dealing with family things. You're dealing with friendships. You're dealing with romances. And I think that makes a person grow a ton just handling all that. I mean, I, I think that's the same for every young adult, you know? My next question is, I mean, so you have to shoot with your exes. Yeah, many. Yeah. So basically, you know, maybe you would run into them at parties. That happens. However, what we don't see behind the scenes is that you really probably have to be together all the time with two of the greatest loves of your life, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, you know, it's not ideal. <laughs> um, but it forces you to kind of figure it out. And... You have to be around someone you don't necessarily want to be around, but it's okay. You can grow up. You can you can be around those people. And especially, I think especially with Brandon, that was my biggest, that was the hardest hurdle for me, was to be after like what I saw on national television, you know, and then being around him again was tough, but I think it helped us grow. And, you know, I feel better being able to forgive, you know, mm -hmm. it, and I think we are, we're like, we're in such a good place now that it's like, it's okay. You know, it's, it's stupid to hang on to those things. What's it like watching all of that back? Because it seemed like your first semi-adult relationship in the real world. Yeah. Yeah. Outside of high school and college, mm -hmm. it was, it, it definitely was. I think in retrospect, you know, maybe I fell too hard too fast, but you know, I mean, I have to look at it like I grew from that and I'm always thankful for what we did have when we had it. And you know, I mean, those are memories that I don't want to just like throw away with all the bad because they were good. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think that being in front of the camera with him in a way kind of made you reconsider things more than you probably would have if you weren't on a TV show? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say because I don't know. I mean, yeah, I probably, I might, might not be around him as much. And, you know, I could have just hid in my room and, you know, cried. But yeah. <laughs> it was, it was nice to like be a little bit forced to like get out there and face it and deal with it. So you're right. Yeah. Like I think, I think it was a little push. Yeah. And I have to ask, and I know that Alex really is behind this whole show, and he's the one that made it happen, but what is it about him that has all of these ladies freaking out? I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm telling you, it's been like that as long as I've known Alex, and that's a long time. It's been like a decade now that I've known Alex, and the first time I met him, it was just like he has this charisma and it just swag it's swag it's swag and it's not just the big house and the the money because i met him when he didn't have the big house he didn't have the money and he still had it he still there's something about alex and you know now i, I i'm over it but i get it like i get why julia is just falling for this guy and yeah. just like can't get over him I can't wait to see the next season of the show. And I mean, I have aunts and cousins that are in their 60s and they're watching this show and I can't believe it. So <laughs> I'm very awesome. excited. And Siesta Key will premiere on MTV this Tuesday at, is it going to be at 10 or nine? nine? Okay. Nine. nine. It's a two hour premiere, so it's going to be great. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to watch it. Thanks so much, Madison. Thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to catch Siesta Key on MTV at 9 p.m. this coming Tuesday.